everyone welcome back to Mrs. Dre food channel so today we are going to prepare Ghanaian eto so what is eto? eto is a Ghanaian dish made with plantain but you know you can do it with everything you can do um, coco yam eto, yam eto, green plantains eto, sweet plantains eto and the one I'm showing you today is sweet plantain eto yes so I'm doing something a bit different so if you are interested please keep on watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video and please don't forget to subscribe thank you bye bye you need three sweet plantain but if you decide to use the green one or using the green one getting to yellow plantain it's the same recipe all you need is three you also need half an onion one scotch bonnet pepper you need peanuts so this one is ground peanuts from Ghana you need palm oil so I usually use the stomy one but I didn't get it this time so I'm using this one and you need a bit of kobe so kobe is a salted Ghanaian fish you need eggs so i just decided to use four eggs but you can use more or less you need avocados so please get the ripe avocado You also need roasted peanuts. So these ones are roasted and salted. We got them from the supermarket. I'm also going to be adding okra, but this is optional. We don't have to do it. It's just me. <laughs> okay, so let's start with our plantain. So I'm going to do it step by step. Usually I don't use my chop board to peel my plantain. So what you do is you cut both ends and then cut through the plantain with your knife and then you remove the skin but in Ghana we don't usually do that we don't use a cut board but for the purpose of the video that's how I'm doing it for you guys and then take your knife and cut it into three parts and then repeat the same action with the remaining plantain so I won't stop stressing on it if you don't like to eat at all with sweet plantains please feel free to use the green ones or the plantains that are getting yellow so usually that's the ones we use for a top but my husband and I like it when it's sweet and you won't regret it with the sweet plantain but don't use the plantain that are black please not those ones these ones are okay and if anyone has a recipe of um, yam or coco yam uh, at all please tell me and I'll be happy to watch the video so then add some water so not too much just above the level of the plantain and then add some salt but not too much salt and you cover it and you cook it on a medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes so now let's continue with our Kobe so I repeat it Kobe is a salted Ghanaian fish so usually in Ghana they use momone but I don't have my money my momone this time I'm so sad but anyway it's also nice with Kobe so wash the Kobe put it in a saucepan and cook it all together with your eggs for about 15 to 20 minutes also and then the okra so as I was saying earlier um, not everyone eats it with okra but I like it like that like for example my husband doesn't like okra but in Ghana some people uh, eat it with it so it is optional and a tip if you want to know how uh, an okra is fresh just cut, cut the end with your finger if it cuts easily it means your okra is fresh if it doesn't 
well my friend go back to the shop and tell them the okra is not fresh so you want fresh one okay so that's it so cut both ends cut it in two and then put it into a small cooking pan add a bit of water and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes so this is how it should be looking like so I'm about to cook my plantain and my kobe all together so now in your Ayua or Asanka or in English motto chop half an onion so if you want to use less onion you can use a quarter of oh. onion that's fine and my baby is also telling you the same thing <laughs> but usually a quarter of onion is enough And then add your scotch bonnet pepper so this one is not too big and not too small it's medium but if you don't have your asanka then you could use the blender but always the taste is not the same you know that and add a bit of salt and then brand it with your tapoli or pestle so I'll do it off camera because it takes a bit of time and then I'll come back so here I've grinded my onion and my scrap bonnet pepper my Kobe is also cooked so I'm just going to take a little bit of it you know as if I was cooking the eggplant stew so if you remember that's how I was doing it so take a bit of Kobe and then grind it if you do not have Kobe or if you don't like Kobe don't use it but if you have Momone or my sister or brother please use it it's the best one and that's a real traditional top with Momone okay next add a good tablespoon of peanut paste so the one I showed you in the beginning the one I got from Ghana it is important that's a very important step because it makes the difference it makes your ato have a nice taste so you can add even more than one tablespoon if you want but just don't skip it okay so don't mind my phone I was just taking a picture for my food blog and it will soon be available for you guys where you can find most of my recipes okay okay so we are now going to add our plantain so it has been cooking for 20 minutes and it's now ready so you can add it into the onion and pepper so I'm going to grind four at a time yes and then mash it and as usual I'm going to do this off camera because it takes a bit of time but I think you get my drift this is how you should do it and please please do not use the blender it's not the same not at this stage please thank you for understanding <laughs> so okay so I have finished finished grinding my um, sweet plantains and this is how it should be looking like so we are now going to add the palm oil so you do not need a lot of palm oil to prepare it all but again it depends on you I ended up adding a bit more because my husband wanted a bit more palm oil so add some into a small pan and let it heat so it doesn't have to be hot you know it just has to be warm so that's what we need okay thank you next pour some palm oil onto it 
just little by little okay and then mix it with a spoon I'm saying little by little so that you know if um, the amount of palm oil is enough for you or not okay don't pour everything at once because you might you might end up with too much palm oil okay and then you keep up mixing it with a spoon okay next add your roasted peanuts if I had you know the Ghanaian peanuts I would have roasted it myself but I didn't have that one that's a shame but anyway these ones from the supermarket are not bad either so just put the amount of roasted peanuts you like on it and then I decided to add avocados so these ones are ripe avocado so I know if you are in Ghana you get the good ones you know the big ones with the great taste so this time I just got the uh, South American one but anyway they were not bad either so also you can use the amount of avocado you like and then I'm going to add my eggs so th for the purpose of the video I cut them in two but you don't have to do that okay and just garnish with the eggs and if you have any other idea or if you prepare your eto differently also feel free to leave me a comment and if you have a youtube video or anything else or a blog please also let, leave me a comment and i'll be happy to go and watch it okay so I'm almost done with my eto now and then last but not least I'm going to add my okra so this is just me I like eating eto with okra where did I get that from oh from my dad he's the one who told me it's nice to eat it with it and I said oh okay let me try it and then since then I keep eating at all with okra so I just I don't mix it with it I just take a bit of at all and I take a bit of uh, okra and I eat it all together and it's so nice so you can try it okay and then I added my Kobe okay so everyone so this is how I prepare uh, Ghanaian at all with sweet plantain so it's the same recipe if you are doing the one with uh, green plantain um, plantain getting to uh, yellow plantain also if you are doing it with uh, cocoa yam or yam or even potato is the same recipe you just change the main ingredients so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, I'll see you in my next video uh, very soon so please leave me a comment subscribe and share my videos thank you and take care bye bye